The National Assembly will vote this afternoon on whether or not to pass a report on the confirmation hearing of the president's pick for prime minister. He faces strong opposition from the conservative Korea Liberty Party, but Lee nak is likely to be confirmed thanks to support from the ruling party and some minor party lawmakers. Kim min has more. A National Assembly panel has decided to adopt a report on the outcome of the confirmation hearing of Prime Minister nominee Lee nak An agreement was reached in a meeting of the lawmakers in charge of the hearing, although the main opposition, Korea Liberty Party, was not present. The opposition has claimed that Lee nak is unfit for the job, slamming his wife for claiming a false address in the past to get a better post as a school teacher. They called it a direct contradiction of President Moon's campaign pledge not to nominate anyone that has been involved in such misconduct. This prompted President Moon to ask for the public's understanding over the matter and for his aides to come up with more realistic standards. The ruling party has been trying to persuade the main opposition party to change its mind, with the hope of being able to put up the PM nominee's appointment to a full floor vote during a plenary session on Wednesday. A majority of the 299-seat parliament will have to vote in favor of the nominee for his appointment to pass. With the ruling Democratic Party of Korea and minor opposition People's Party agreeing to endorse C, it will pass the threshold. It wasn't smooth sailing either for the report on the hearing of Seo Hoon, who's been tapped to head the National Intelligence Service. The Parliament's Intelligence Committee was initially expected to adopt the report on Tuesday. However, some lawmakers requested that Saw first submit documents regarding his drastic increase in wealth. Saw's hearing was held on Monday, and he fielded a range of questions from lawmakers about his fitness for the job, from his views on North Korea and national security, as well as allegations regarding his personal life. Unlike the PM nominee, Sa's appointment does not require consent from Parliament. However, if he takes his post amid extreme opposition, critics say it could set the stage for more conflict down the road. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.